Hi foxes and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a different sort of video and that is the whole sort of process of shooting a lookbook. Now a lookbook is a collection of photos or video that kind of captures or embodies a specific aesthetic that you're going for um, and gets that across to whoever your customer or your viewer is. So you can kind of think of like a catalog, like a lookbook. So if you've ever looked at like an anthropology catalog or a Sundance catalog, they have like a vibe that they're going for. And a lot of times you can see like a fall lookbook or a holiday lookbook and a company will put together a number of coordinating pieces that match up to create holiday looks and the idea of a lookbook is to give people inspiration on the ways to wear those things. It lets my creative side a sort of a visual picture for my Poshmark closet, for my social media about my vision for whatever the coming season is. Shooting a lookbook with just me in my house and the things that I have on hand and a remote for my camera. So when I was planning my lookbook, I couldn't find pretty much anything about how to put together a lookbook, how to shoot it, um, how to coordinate, any of that. So what I decided, since this channel is definitely about learning and bringing new things to the table, as much as I feel like this is that shooting all of the footage for this is going to be more of like a hindrance than it is um, beneficial for me. I wanted to kind of put this together so that you guys could kind of see the process from start to finish of what it takes to make a lookbook. So the first... <laughs> So the first thing that I did was to start creating a collection of clothing that to me sort of embodied the holidays. I actually started collecting this clothing um, right after, you know, November of last year. So anything that was sort of like Christmas themed by November, I was really just sort of saving it for next year. I put it into a tub and I sort of wait for the appropriate holiday. I do this for Halloween, I do this for Valentine's Day, and I do this for the holidays. So I have been collecting clothing for pretty much a year that is Christmas themed and now I'm pulling all of that out and kind of seeing what sort of patterns I have. My patterns really ended up being like white and cream and red and like that rich sort of pine tree green. What I had to do first was to take out all the clothing, get it up on a rack and sort of see what I had and start to envision outfits in my mind. Seeing what I had, I took that over to Pinterest and I created a lookbook board. So I went scouring Pinterest for the kind of vision that I sort of had in my head and I didn't really find much, but I did find a few things that helped me um, pull together like the idea of what I wanted to do. Then after seeing my ideas on the Pinterest board and kind of really cultivating what I wanted to do, I had to fill in the holes in what I had sourced for this collection. So that meant a sort of scramble of ordering and sourcing and thrifting and trying to find the pieces that would match up to create the vision that I wanted. So you can imagine that I have been doing this pretty much since the end of um, publishing my Halloween lookbook collection that was at the middle of September. And so I have spent the past couple of months kind of collecting all of the things that I want to make this vision come to life. And next up, I had to figure out how I was going to turn my studio space into a little enchanted wonderland of Christmas spirit so that I could take my modeled shots and take my styled shots for my lookbook. And so I ended up having to go out to Michael's because they were the one of the first stores to get get their Christmas stuff out in mass and I was able to pick up a couple of props and things that were inspired by my Christmas Pinterest board 
um, to kind of make my vision come to life. So we're at that point now where I've got the clothing and I've got the props and now I've got to turn my office space into a freaking winter wonderland and still keep it from being too distracting for the clothing. I am going to take you for a little bit of the ride. Today we're doing a lot of the prep work, trying to get my office space ready so that I can begin shooting my collection this week. All right, so what's one bulky thing that looks festive but takes almost no money and takes up a lot of space? And that is presents. So what I'm going to do is in keeping with the red, the cream, and the green theme, I went to Michael's and I picked out these wrapping papers. Unfortunately, because it's early in the season, they were not on sale, so I paid $5 a piece with a 20% off coupon on top of that. But I really like the way these three come together. I think it's very vintagey, I think it's very classic and festive. Next up, I bought this little bouquet at Michael's. I really liked that it had the cotton and the frosted pine cones. I just thought it was really nice. And then what I did was I wrapped it with some craft paper and I am going to tie satin ribbon around the bottom. Um, and I'm gonna use that as a prop. I saw a lot of very uh, cute photos on Pinterest, which I'll pop in here, that I really wanted to kind of recreate. Okay, so today is day one of photographing and I have already gotten a little bit of a head start and it's going pretty well so far. Um, the photos are coming out nicely, so I'm going to show you how I organized my rack so that I try on pieces the fewest number of times possible um, and do like the least amount of work possible. And so this is the second photo shoot. The first one I did was all exclusively things that were on my dress form, so things that I didn't fit into. This is going to be things that I fit into, and then I have one where I'm going to do a different background. Um, I'm not going to record that, but this is the second photo shoot, and this one will probably, I'll probably do this one over a couple of, there's a lot of pieces in this collection, and I'm, it's like a Friday, and 
my kids are home with me so I'm not going to get to do all of them today but hopefully I will get to wrap them up this weekend and I'll show you a little bit of what the modeling element looks like and then we'll probably call that mostly good. So over here is my rack that I have. Um, most of these items are for my holiday collection. You can still see a couple of them still have like tags on. But what I did basically was group up what I wanted to model together. So I want to model this sweater and this sweater with this skirt. So I'll only try this skirt on one time and then I will move on to the next outfit which is going to be um, all the things I want to model with this top right here. So these three things I want to model with the same top. And basically I went through and created my outfits. That also helped me know what different holes I had in my collection and what I needed to go and source for. So that is how I organized my rack and now I'll show you a little bit of the photography part. So I always model in straight up and down, not sideways. Uh, that way it just gives me the best aspect ratio. I've got something in the foreground and something in the background. So if I'm trying to show off um, the side of the piece, then I can be putting an ornament onto the tree. Uh, or if I am trying to show off the, let's just say, the back of a piece, I can be back here and I can do this or I can do this. Um, if the middle of something looks kind of funny, I can do this, uh, or I can do this so that it looks like I am handing a present. Um, and so using props can sometimes hide like problem areas in modeling, like if the bust buttons are coming apart too much or you know the waist doesn't quite fit right or it doesn't zip all the way in the back you can just kind of like hide it with something back here like I could take an ornament and go like that you know to hide a waist that didn't quite fit yeah so I think just setting up the space in a dynamic way so that it's not all background and the pieces that are within can be used as props is probably the way to go to make it the most efficient so that you're getting all of your angles in a like festive or um, like shoot appropriate way. Obviously I am unfortunately limited to mostly taking photos inside of my house because I am home with my kids like my son is napping right now my little one so I can't be outside um, you know gallivanting about the neighborhood or um, taking pictures in different locales so I just have to work with what I have and this was my festive holiday shoot.